Hi everyone and welcome back to my virtual classroom. Our fun facts episode for today is about Japanese tea house. So let's get started. In Japan, a traditional tea room is called a chashitsu. Here, a sacred ritual dating back to the 9th century takes place. Japanese tea ceremony masters prepared and served tea in accordance with a strict protocol learned at a tea school. This practice is also referred to as the way of the tea. The style of a tea room is known as sukiya. They are typically made of wood and covered with tatami mats where guests sit during the ceremony. There is also a nook in the room called tokonoma, the most important area, where there is a vase of flowers and a calligraphy scroll is hung. The practice started hundreds of years ago with a Buddhist monk named Eichu. After a trip to China, he prepared tea for the Emperor Saga during his visit to Karasaki in 815. Tea was already commonly drunk in China for a thousand of years mostly for medical reasons. During the 12th century, another monk brought back matcha from a trip to China, as well as a new technique to make it. From then on, tea ceremonies became common for monks throughout Japan. When samurais and warriors ruled Japan 100 years later, tea became a symbol of power. One of the country's leading experts in the 16th century was Sen no Rikyu. He wrote a book about tea and the principles his master taught him during a ceremony. Respect, purity, harmony, and tranquility. Three main schools of tea were founded after his death, including the Orasenke school, the Omotosenke school, and the Mushakoji Senke school. These traditions and traditional practices carry on in Japan today with both a formal ceremony and an informal ceremony, varying in protocol and length. They are a beloved part of the culture, something Japan values greatly. Some key ones that carry throughout Jap Japanese culture include taking off your shoes before entering a tea house and washing your hands before the ceremony begins. This is in line with the purification aspect of tea ceremonies and the Shinto religion. During a tea ceremony, sit in a position called Seiza. This involves putting the top of your feet flat on the floor while sitting back on the soles of your feet. You'll surely want to take photographs during this experience, but ask the tea master before you start to avoid any offense. The country's oldest tea houses were built by monks, samurai, and wealthy merchants with Zen philosophy influences. They are designed to be simple and one with nature using natural materials like wood. Some tea houses also have Zen Japanese gardens in front of them. When guests enter an ancient tea house, they must crawl in through a small wooden door making everyone at the ceremony equal regardless of wealth or title. This also means that samurai had to keep their swords outside to be the same rank as everyone else. Kyoto is a cultural capital of Japan. It's here you find those quaint wooden houses lining the uneven streets and the most geishas of anywhere else in the country. In addition to some of the best traditional Japanese tea houses and tea shops, Camellia Tea Ceremony is one of the best rated tea ceremonies in the, in the city. Here, tourists can do a private ceremony or a group ceremony in English. The tea master will walk through each of the steps, then each person will have a chance to whisk matcha to foamy perfection in a tradition known as Chanuyu. Tea Ceremony Room Juan is an exceptionally beautiful tea house inside the Jot Jotokoji temple. The traditional ceremony is led by a licensed tea master from the Omotosenke school, who is passionate about the craft and teaching visitors the steps and history involved. In the bustling capital, 
and wined with a cup of tea at Hapuen, inside of a peaceful garden with a 500-year-old bonsai tree. There are six different floors with different tea and function rooms. You can also just stop by for sweets and a cup of matcha. At Jaideya, they offer guests a variety of experiences. You can either make your own tea with instructions from your tea master or watch your tea master make it as she explains the history and techniques. If you want to add an extra layer of tradition, you can also opt for the tea ceremony while wearing a traditional kimono. On the second floor of a 1940s Japanese styled home, visitors can participate in a chado workshop or a tea ceremony at Shizu Kokoro. Here, guests will sip on cherry blossom tea while watching a brief introductory video followed by a 20-minute tea ceremony performed by the instructor and a 45-minute hands-on lesson where you will make the matcha tea and learn how to properly serve it to the guests. Tea gatherings and ceremony experiences are in high demand in Japan, so it's crucial to reserve a spot in advance and arrive early as punctuality is another aspect of the country's iconic tea ceremony tradition. And that's it for today and I hope that you have enjoyed and learned something about Japanese tea house. And for those that are new to my class, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for your attendance today. And as always, as teacher Maria would say, please do live your life to the fullest, learn something new every day and love one another as how our God loves us. See you next episode for our Fun Facts series. Bye!